Today, Ventura, we're back again down in the southern Moreton Bay the Island waterways for another overnight fish. That's our target. A bit of whiting, a bit of brim. Whiting and brim today. So we're going to head out first and go and pump some yabbies. Go and find some yabbies and have some nice fresh bait. And then we'll let's try and mark out what we're going to do during the night and uh, go to start. I think we'll probably go between the power lines and the jumping pin area. So that'll be the plan for now. Looking for that whiting and bream and the occasional something big. Whether it's happy to jump on the line, we're happy to go. take it. <laughs> so let's go out, get some bait first. Jace is setting up. Um, we've pumped our yabbies. We're out here in the jumping pin area. As you can see, there's a few boats around. All doing the same thing, all having the same idea. Running, uh, fishing this rip run area. As you can see, the water is actually moving along pretty, pretty fast as it does here in this jumping pin area. So to combat that, I've got a pretty heavy sinker and also running double hooks because this is a good little winding spot and uh, hopefully there's Grunty here as well. As I said, we've, we've pumped a few yabbies. It's still quite high, the tide here. So we're going to use a bit of yabby and I dug some rockworms. Dug some rockworms this morning. So, and we've got some prawns in there as well. So yeah, we're gonna start here and hopefully there's some whiting and grunter and what else? Whatever else is here. So let's get to it. Well, Jace has connected. Jace has connected with something. I've been baited. Stick. Or has he got a big stick? What do you think it is? Is it a fish or a stick? No, it's a fish. Hey, well, it's, it's a grunter. <laughs> That's what we're well, asking for. Off. That's a good one. That's 40 centimeters, isn't it? It's certainly a size. Nice javelin garanta. Fish on! Fish on, I think. It's not, not something big though. Let's see what it. Oh ho! That's a stonker whiting to start with. Very nice whiting. Huge. That's a good 33-ish. Nice. 33 to start with. sitting on it. It's not as big as the other one but that was hard to feel in this current with the big sinker on. Well I wasn't recording it but I picked up dubs. That's why it was so heavy. Two in one go. Yeah. Two in one go. Two nice ones. Wrecked my rig though. On again. It's 
one this time though. <laughs> Definitely fish on. Yeah. Not a biggie, but it's a counter. Alright, something something a bit heavier here. Always oh, got the net out just in case it's something big. Still, still on a run here. Oh, it's a grunter again. Can you get that net at fee? That's grim, isn't it? Yeah, it's ours. Sounds like it's grunting to me. It's a javelin grunter. Nice, nice grunter, but all right, we've moved position a little bit. Tide's just about stopped below tide. It's going to give here a couple more minutes before we go and pump some more yabbies. We're running low. Still plenty of boats out. We've come back in, it's uh, low tide as the same before, uh, to pump some yabbies. Jason's out there pumping. Uh, just keeping the boat from drifting off. We'll pump some yabbies and we'll go back out for our plan, which will be to start from that jumping pin, uh, beginning of the waterway, and float back down, testing a few different spots at the, um, along the way to the power lines. That's slipping sands. We've moved down here to start the evening bit. It's uh, you can see the sun's set now. So we're just gonna work our way back down to the power lines this way during the night. Um, see if we pick up any action with various spots along the way. Uh, we did catch some big whiting here last time. So I'm going to start at this spot. Though we did catch them further down there where the boats are. But we'll start here and then we'll move down. Um, give it a go. Got to always try new spots, eh? Just picked up a little whiting here, first stop. On a worm. Rock worm. Interesting. Went past the um, went past the yabby to pick up a rock worm. Folks, just a little tip. Uh, the mozzies are pretty bad at this time of night here. Really close to the mangroves. Jason's rugged up as much as he can, and with the bushmen's, the uh, mozzies are trying to. Eat us through the clothes now. Mm -hmm. Jace has got something that had a bit of not big. It's got some screaming reel going on there. No, it's a little so loose. so loose. What is it? A little brim. It's still uh, dusk here, but we've moved down to the sands, slipping sands area. The mozzies were way too bad up at the up near the mangroves. So we'll try it here with the, the mozzies seem to be a bit better here. Chase is already on. Are you already on? Yeah. You've only been here for one minute. What have you picked up? A little whiting. Little whiting. Nice little whiting. That's your first one. Whew, on the board. <laughs> On the board. Nice, oh, alright, there's whiting here, so I better get my line in before Jace catches them all. Alright, folks, we've uh, got a bit of an update. It's probably about 11 pm. We've been down close to the close to the power lines, but nothing's happening down there. 
so we decided to come back near the oh, near the start. Well, actually, back at the start. We're back at jumping pin now, but we did stop off at slip, slipping sands. Picked up a couple of little ones again. A bit of action while the tide was turning, and we're at the top of the tide, and we're running out. We're well, starting to run out now. The wind's pretty strong out here. So we're just going to fish the top half of this tide until it's about sleeping time, I think. Jason might be on. No, oh, missed it. Jason missed sit up. But yeah, we'll fish a couple more hours while this tide's starting to run out again and see if we we'll get some action. Otherwise, we'll turn in and sleep for a while and wake up before the sun again. Didn't do very well at that back at the uh, jumping pin area, nothing at all. It's like the fish went away when the sun went down. So we'll come over here, get a couple of hours sleep and then we'll uh, get up again with sunrise and try and find them again. We're out again, back where we started, right at the spit area or the jumping pin area trying to decrease the small tally of whiting that we have. Uh, it's rained, we've got midges, we've got flies everywhere, we've got mozzies. Uh, everything's attacking us, it's raining every now and then. Uh, anything good happening? It's ugly, man. It's ugly. But, it's not cold. Maybe that's one thing. Anyway. We will continue with this uh, trying to catch whiting business. Something good. Got some pull to it. I've got something too. Oh, no, I think it's Taylor. Taylor? It's a little Taylor. How did you get a little tailor? Gold. <laughs> I'll let you look after that one. <laughs> <laughs> What's the size? Uh, 35, aren't they? That's way too small. We've got a something. Hopefully it's a whiting. No. Brim. Small brim. That's disappointing. Here we go. Changed up leads and instantly we got onto something. So that because there's a bit of a run in here, I've had to go really to a much heavier sinker and it's paid off straight away. It feels sizable, whatever this is, but obviously there is uh, some heavier lead on here. That's what we're after. A big, oh. <laughs> nice big chunky fella. That's a big one too. Nice. <clears throat> on the um, on the rockworm. Crikey, that's a nice one. Oh, hang on, he's yeah, it's rockworm. Him. Okay, it's going to be 35 ish. Uh, 34. Not bad. Well, dismal, dismal effort. I think we may have not even cracked double figures. We stayed out mostly in the jumping pin area because nothing seemed to be down towards the power lines then. Not even a nibble. So we came up, back up here. We're getting some, but... Uh, not keepers. Not keepers. Not the best outcome, but you don't know until you give it a go. It's time to head back. There is a lot of 
rain coming, if you can see over there. Even though it's sunny that way, it's raining over there and it's coming this way. Anyway, let's go. See you on the next one.